our colors for today are pea green, a Fetre pea green for the background. I wanted a light background so that the hair would show up, but um, I don't know. I got to try it on a back, black background and see how it looks. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to use pea green. Um, for her face, I'm using Creation is Messy Butter Pecan. I like that. It's a nice flesh tone for me, so I use it a lot. And then for the hair, this is Creation is Messy Solar Storm. And it's one of their new types of glass that they call streamers. And what a streamer is, is it's a clear rod of glass with this one has like orange stripes through it. And when I first saw these streamers, I immediately thought, oh my gosh, hair. So I make a lot of really hairy things. <laughs> and so I wanted to play around with this new streamer and make some hair. And um, let's see what we get. I'm very, very curious. This could go really, really well. So that's the glass that I'm going to use. Of course, black and white for the googly eyes. Let's make a little girl. And we're off. So to start this little, um, little girl with hair on her head, I'm going to make some ribbon cane. Um, I don't know why. It just seemed like the thing to do. So, and I'm going to make kind of a really a stacked ribbon cane. So we're going to stack a whole bunch of ribbon cane on top of a ribbon cane <laughs> and I, it's just going to be it's going to be very full long luscious beautiful hair so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pull some stringers and i'm going to pull kind of some fat stringers now when you're making your hair with these streamers you want to kind of keep things straight so i'm not going and making a blob. I'm kind of making my blob, but I'm keeping it straight. And then I'll just grab it. And I want it kind of fat, but I'm going to pull out some stringers, just like so. Trying to keep all those lines straight, because we're going to stack the straight lines on top of straight lines on top of straight lines. And, you know, because she doesn't have messy hair. <laughs> she has long, luscious, straight hair. I guess, you know, you could have messy hair, too. That doesn't matter. I don't know. I'm being OCD. My engineer is showing. My husband would say, your geek is showing. All right, let's grab that tip and pull it out straight. And what I'm going to do with these stringers is I'm going to stack them on top of a paddle. So let's make a few of them because I think I'm going to need a couple of paddles. And so this is step number one. I make a lot of polymer clay kaleidoscope canes and some of those um, ideologies, they transfer over to my lamp work where kaleidoscope is like a repeating pattern. So if I can find a way to do a repeating pattern in lamp work, that is always fun. Okay, I'm gonna make one more because I think I'm gonna try to make two paddle canes, two ribbon canes. And I need like two stringers for each paddle. Oh no, and now I'm doing math in my artwork. God dang it. I hate it when that happens, when you have to use math in your art. Okay, one more, stringer. And hopefully these will cool by the time I need them. Okay, good. All right, so second step, now that we have our stringers, is to make a paddle cane. And again, I'm just gonna heat up the end by the way, this is really nice glass. I don't see any shockiness or burning or gray schmutz. Okay, let's heat up the tippy ends. And I got my baby mashers, and I'm just going to mash a nice little, some people call it a lollipop, just like so. And you can see those stringers in there. 
But now I'm going to stack the stringer on the stringer. So I got my little stringers I just pulled. And again, we're just going to put down stripes. And at this point, I don't think I care if the stripes are going on top of stripes. I'm just making a lot of stripes. And this, I think, this would make a really good cane for stuff like jellyfish tendrils you got to think of things that are like what's long and skinny and hairy so I would love to try this with my jellyfish tendrils I'd also like to see like what kind of effect can you get when you put these streamers on the top of say like a filigrana which we haven't talked about yet I'm just going to really stack this up I made all these stringers. I might as well use them, right? Okay. So there we go. And now I'm going to pull this out into a little cane. So I'm going to grab the tippy tip here. Heat up that paddle. Again, I can see that all of my stripes are nice and straight. A straight line. Okay, let's grab that paddle right at the end. Ha ha ha. Yeah, easier said than done, Maria. Grab that paddle. Just grab it with your tweezers and pull it out. And that, to me, I can see it inside. It looks like hair. Okay, I could probably use a bigger paddle, but it's a good start, huh? So let's make another one. Set that there for later. All right, I'm going to make a few of these little paddle canes. And I will be back so we can make our little red-headed girl. Okay, I have four of these little ribbon canes that I pulled. Um, they're very hairy, lots of striations. And then I went ahead and I just made a lentil here um, of that pea green. And now I am going to make her face, face first. So I got my butter pecan out. I'm being a little careful with it because it is a little shocky. However, this is the glass that I put in the kiln for that little short I did on shocky rods. And wow, this is totally, this is a totally different butter pecan. Okay, heating it up. I'm going to make her face first, right down there in the center. A nice little round blob. Nice. Let's go ahead and flatten it out. Give her a nice face. Not too big. Not too big of a head, because this is all about the hair and not the head. And I'm just shaping it a bit here. There we go. There we go. Okay, that looks good. And now I'm going to go ahead and put on the eyes. Just some little googly eyes. One there. One there. You probably can't see it very well. White on butter pecan. <laughs> Not real good for the camera, but it's going to make a great bead. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do her pupils. Let's see if I can do this without shaking and making her cross-eyed. Poor little thing. One pupil there. Okay, that one went down good. One pupil there. Yay, I think she's not cross-eyed. Okay, that's a good start. Let's go with the hair. Now, I'm pulling out my one ribbon and I'm just gonna start laying it down. So, she's got a center part. And down it goes. I'm really curious to see how this is going to hold up, you know, um, with that orange. Are you going to see it when it, when, I, when it dries, when it cures? I think you will. I mean, orange is kind of a really bright, contrasty color, so it should show up pretty good. And as you can see... I didn't need near the stringers that I thought I was going to need. So she's got a little bouffant here. Right down her 
face. And you know what? I think I'm going to stop. I mean, you could put more layers on, I guess. Wow, I'm really surprised I made like all these stringers and I don't need them. <laughs> all right, and now I'm just going to give her a little smile on the bottom of her face. I got my dental tool and I just usually kind of just sculpt a little smile in. You got to get both sides though because otherwise it looks like a smirk. Okay, I'm going to let this cool and anneal, and I will be back to show you the final product. It's cute. So here's my final beads. Um, I wanted to see what it would look like to put the hair on a black bead and see if it, if the contrast, if it stood up some more. Um, but you know what? I think, I don't think one is better than the other. I think they're both cute cute little girl beads uh i know it's hard to see on the camera but the hair is really defined and you can really see the stripes in there when you get up close and personal so you guys go out there expand your horizons with these great little streamers i have some other ideas that i'll share with you at a later date have a great day. I will be back soon because I have a lot of stuff I want to share. Take care. Bye.